I have one. I was looking online and I found a tag which is called the birthstone tag and it's just about books and each birthstone has a meaning and you find a book which relates to the meaning. So I decided to do it myself and I'll just give it a go. The first one is January which is garnet and that's associate garnet's associated with warding of negative forces and dark energies. Name a book with the darkest, evilest characters you can think of. I chose Demon Road by Dirk Landy and that's because pretty much all the characters in it are demons. To become stronger they basically have children and then eat their children. The second one is February Amethyst. Um, purple is associated with royalty, so name a book of regal qualities. I chose a book featuring regal characters. It's by Rose by Jane Oliver. This is a book that's based off of the whole Stephen Beauty fairy tale. And in the story, she, Aurora is the queen, but Briar Rose is just a girl who's been trapped in this world. Um, March is Aquamarine, which is washed out. So name a wishy-washy character, so a character who's not strong and got a follower. <sighs> I choose A Face Like Glass by Frances Hardinge. And that's because this character in this called Neverfell, who always seems to want to do the right thing. She's not a particularly strong leader, and she's not a great follower. So she's in the in-between of the spectrum. And that kind of makes her an interesting character, even though she's not particularly great at anything in particular. I said particular twice, three times now. For April, it is Diamond, and that's a diamond in the rough. Name a book that you love but it's not well known. This is The Death House by Sarah Pimbra, and I actually won this book. I only found out this book because I won it in the competition of novellas. So I have this book. And it's I think it's my favourite book I've ever read. But every time I mention it, it seems like no one's ever heard of it. May is Emerald, which is said to balance energy, so name two characters who balance each other well. I chose Simon and Baz from Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. In lots of fanners I've seen, you have Simon who's represented as, even though he's on the front, he's represented blue. But in lots of fans, he's represented yellow, and he's this positive, warm, he is the good character. Then you have Baz, who throughout a lot of the story, at, at the beginning he's portrayed as a bad character. And they complement each other well when they come together, because you have the good and the bad, even though that's not how it ends up, it turns out at the end. June is Pearl, and it's associated with loyalty. I chose Alex and Tom from the book Ashes by Ilsa J. Beck. That's because throughout the entire trilogy of books, well, at the end of the first book, Alex and Tom are separated because they come together over, I'm going to go with extreme circumstances. Because it's set in a zombie apocalypse situation, so the characters automatically become loyal to each other and they get separated at the end and they spend the rest of the trilogy trying to come back together. So July is Ruby, which is blood red, so name a book that makes your blood boil, one that makes you angry. I chose Girl of Nightmares. It's a sequel to a book called A Book. <laughs> it's a sequel to a book called Anne Dressed in Blood. It's described as gorgeous, brutal, heartbreaking, merciless, and cool as hell, and I think that describes the first book. This book makes my blood boil because the ending of it. Like, this much of the book is about the guy trying to find her. Then, after this much of the book, there's this bit here where he finds her, and she doesn't even care about him anymore and it just makes me so angry. August is Peridot, so that's pale green. It pales in comparison to other gems. So name supporting character I like better than the main character. See you bone. <laughs> any Cassandra Clare book, I basically like any other character more than the main characters. So in here I like Simon, Raphael, Magnus, Isabel, Alec. I like all of them more than Clara and Jace because I just find them annoying. September is Sapphire and that's Blue Like the Ocean which is calming. They in the book which has a calming effect on you. I chose the Septimus Heat series by Angie Sage. Well, it's a book based at younger readers, but it's about magic and like friendship and loyalty and it's very soothing to read. Especially when I spend a lot of my time well I spend some of my time reading the crime and horror books, this is really soothing to read eventually. Especially since I've been doing Frankenstein English and this is really easy to read. October is Opal, which is iridescent. Name an iridescent book, one that can be beautiful or based on a character who is like quirky and colourful. I chose this cover because it's colourful, <laughs> mainly. And it's a great book. And also there's a character in it. There's Tori, who's the main character, and she's not really quirky or colourful, but she's relatable. And she's the opposite of quirky and colourful. Then you have a friend, well, a friend. Called Michael and he is everything that she isn't. November is Topaz which is associated with resilience. So name a book of a character who rises to the top in time of adversity. 
the end I went with Bonnie from the Vampire Diaries, just because she's a character who manages to, well she seems to manage to remain completely innocent throughout, even though she's exposed to all of these like, not so great things, she is still, she's kind and caring, and she's still doing a great job. December is Blue Zircon, associated with friendships, no book with friendship you want to be part of. So I chose another Rainbow Rail book, which is Eleanor and Park. Eleanor and Park seems to have something that you want, because you want someone who you can bond with over interests. Because they bond over music, on the, they sit on the bus, they bond over music and comic books. And it's just cute. Um, thank you if you managed to keep watching this long. I'm sorry it might have rambled for a bit and that I'm quite hard to understand at the best of times. But, you know, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>